What's the deal, man? It's a boy, McLean at Dwayne McLean TV. Back giving another video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we are back again with another video today, man. We're going to be talking about Chris Brown and this $1,111 sold out. Women are paying $1,000 to take a picture with this man. It's crazy, man. Girls got money, man. Fellas, let me tell you this. The average girl make $100,000 a year. They don't even know they make it. Think about all the money they get sent to the inbox, especially for attractive girls. And it's crazy how so many men are just coming out and just buying and paying for it. They say, hey, here's money. I got money. You know what I'm saying? But these girls got the bag to spend to take a picture. You know, um, Chris Brown, a, he's a a very talented guy. Sing, dance, act. He, can, he can't really act. His movies are pretty trash. Sing, dance. He can draw. You know, he can also fight. He, he done attack. The, I, I don't know. He... he I think people overlook what he did to Rihanna. I don't look over that. I'm like, yo, you did some wild stuff. We don't know why. He was young, though. So we can let that go. He hasn't had an incident since. We can let that go. You know, he had another instance where he threw a chair through a window at one time. He was going, he was out of it at one point. But the fact that people are going out their way paying a thousand dollars to get just for a picture is insane. But if you, it ain't tricky if you got it. One of my issues is with this is that a dude broke up with his girlfriend. And they wanted to call the man insecure. And she's like, oh, he was insecure. No man is going to be comfortable with a girl doing this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay to be insecure, y'all. A female is quick to call a... a it's kind of an oxymoron for a woman to call a man insecure. One of the most insecure species of all time. There's nothing more insecure than a female in America. Nothing more. Y'all can't even... Put on a camera without filters. You can't walk out. Now, this is me. I'm ugly right now. Waking up. This is all ugly face. I got to just hope, pray to God for genetics. Pray to God for genetics and try to keep my chin hair. Without this chin hair, all face. I got to wake up every day and accept this. Every day and accept this. This is as ugly as I don't know what. They can't even go out the house like this. Makeup, filters. I'm no, a very attractive woman who went live and had to put a filter on. You know what I'm saying? The most insecure species would call a man insecure when it's okay. Every human being is insecure. There's not one secure, 100% secure human being on this planet. So they, the dude seen this girl with a picture with Chris Brown and he called off the engagement. I don't blame him. She paid $1,000 y'all money. If you want to date a woman make an irrational decision like that, you shouldn't be dating them. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then if I was in a situation, my girl wouldn't be doing that anyway, because I know the psychology of women. you got to be toxic. I'm toxic. I'm the most gas mask, toxic person to be around in a relationship. They are, if she's out with Chris Brown, she's going to be worrying about where, who I'm out with. So I always tell guys, never love your woman too much. And, and people don't believe me. Never love your woman too much. Never show her too much love. Only if you're dating a, and only if you're dating a woman who's in the social media, who's in the streets, who's in the culture. Now, if you're dating a wholesome girl who appreciates your love, you can love her as much as you want. She's going to enjoy it. But I still would advise, put yourself first in a lot of times and give her her space. And don't be up her, her you know, her, don't be all over all the time. You know what I'm saying? Always take some of that love away. You know what I mean? If you love and shower a woman with love all the time, she's going to stress you. She's never going to be happy. Imagine giving a woman love for 29 days straight. On that 30th day, you don't give it to her. She's angry with you. And now you're like, why? Wow, she's mad. Women would do that. That's why I always tell guys, never be loving your woman too much. If if, if these guys who was with their girlfriends who went to Chris Brown and, the, and they didn't love their woman like the way that they didn't show all this stuff, she wouldn't have been there. And another thing I want to point out, we do not hold our females accountable anymore. Meaning, back in the 60s, if a female raised her voice to her man, black eye, black eye. If girls knew they would come home to black eyes, they wouldn't do what they do. You know what I'm saying? And I, it's good that we stopped attacking women. I'm glad we did. But I have seen the consequences of us since the time, since the time we stopped putting our foot in that, like putting our foot really on their neck. I'm talking about literally foot on the neck. Girl, who, who you been out the house with? What you doing taking Chris, pictures with Chris Brown? I'm talking about literally stone cold stun on them when they come to the house. These girls have nothing to worry about. They know they men are pa we are passive now, which is good. I'm not saying we should ever go back to attacking women. 
I leave. I would never. I, don't, I ain't put my hands on a female. I'm not about to go to jail. Even if it wasn't jail, I still wouldn't. But what I'm saying is, these girls knew there was no consequences. They knew they was dating some good, nice guys who ain't gonna do nothing, who ain't gonna say nothing, and they can get away with it. And I want, also want to say this. I seen an interview last night. It was on the Anton Daniels. I like Anton Daniels. Shout out to him. He did a blog about a woman who says she gets out of line and she was dating a corny dude because the dude would never check her or control her. And a lot of women have this trait in them. They want to be controlled. A lot of them. I'm not saying all, but a lot. They have this in them where they want to be controlled. It's like They're like kids. Your kids love the fact that you discipline them. I'm reading a book now that says that. Kids love the fact to be disciplined. Kids want to be checked. They get in trouble and they, they and it's a psychological thing we don't understand. Like you don't think you want to get beat by your mom as a kid, but you you knew what you was going to get into if you got in trouble, and your mom disciplines you. Think about it. I'm gonna give you guys this example. Black people, we love our mamas above and beyond. The black mom has a history of constantly beating all her kids, but all the black people in the hood love their mama. We all love our moms. We'll do anything for our moms. And our moms beat us bad. On the flip side, you have an entire race of white people who moms was not as beating them. I'm not saying all white moms didn't do it, but I know a majority did. Look how white people treat their moms in a majority sense. What's the, what's the consensus? They call their mom a B. They cuss at her. They don't show no love because mom didn't beat them and check them. Same thing with women. If we're not checking our girls, we ain't putting them in line. They're not going to love us. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to love us. Not in all cases. Fellas, and another thing that happens is y'all just date the wrong girls. As a good guy, why are you dating a girl that's on social media? You are a nice guy. You're not into, If you're a guy you're not on social media, don't date a social media chick. Social media is evil. Social media is why all these women are acting crazy. And there are lots of women who don't have social media. Who are not into themselves, who are not narcissists. Most of these girls, if a girl takes a picture every day, she's a narcissist and she's obsessed with herself. And that's a red flag. You should not be dating her. You're dating her because she looks good, you're a square, and she's going to settle for a square because you are comfortable. There's plenty of girls that's like you that you need to go date, but guys don't do it because opposites attract. So that's what's going on here, man. Y'all dating girls who are problematic, who want to be controlled. Who want to date a man is going to put him in line. So why they go for the dreadhead thug dude who ain't going to do nothing. Because that's what they want. They want somebody that's going to do that. That's, you like a square. She's going to walk all over you. And that's exactly what happened. These girls walked over their boyfriends. Flew and took it. Paid $1,000 to take a picture. I'm more upset about the 1000 Gave another man $1,000 to take a picture? And who's to say Chris Brown ain't probably getting no neck? If I was Chris Brown, all y'all had to give me neck. Every girl I took a picture with. Got to give me neck. You gonna pay a thousand dollars for a picture? Go put this in your mouth. That's what, I, that's what Dwayne McClain would have did. I'm getting neck. All of y'all. Imagine that. Forty girls one night. Neck. I'll take a. I'll pop perks and Viagra. Just to, just to, just to keep up. Man, throats would be destroyed out there. So as a guy, it's okay to be insecure. I'm tired of girls saying, "Oh, he's insecure," so you can go out and be a, a, a slut. You want to go be a SLUT. You want to show your butt online. Fellas, do not date a girl who shows her butt online. <laughs> I mean, you could date her, but don't take her serious. She's not. Any girl who shows their butt online does not deserve to be a wife, does not deserve to be in a relationship. Treat her as she is to be. You're just a cum bucket. If I meet a girl, she got social media, I already know. Well, this ain't about to be serious. I'm about to get me a few nuts, and I'm out of here. That's every girl with a. I'm talking about, and I'm not saying a girl who has a social media. Let me, let me break this down and say this correctly. A girl who's active on social media daily, taking pictures of herself daily, provocative, posting thongs, booty pics, breast pics, narcissists. You only need to nut in them. <laughs> not in them, but only in their mouth. You do not need to cuff a girl who's in a thong or a model on social media. Those girls are for the streets. All uh, Every 100%. For the street. I mean this from the fellas. If she's active on social media, pictures every day, TikToking, just know, hey, this is going to be just a fun time. And have fun. 
Don't make her your wife. These girls are not wives. Nobody want to be wives. And I don't know why you guys are going for these girls who are like that. So it's okay for you to, and they always want to say, oh, he's insecure if I dance another man. We don't want our women doing that. It's a bad, when you come to the mandem, y'all know what the mandem is. I got this word from Tory Lanez because he said the song, had me embarrassed when I was going to the mandem. That's what Tony Tory Lane says. The mandem is when we get around the guys. You look like a lame. It's embarrassing. I was a guy who got embarrassed to go to the mandem because I had a girl doing, who had guy friends. Had a girl, I was dating a girl who wanted guy, and I knew how to handle it though. I, she, she couldn't stand, I didn't care. She's like, you don't care? Like, yeah, man, go out, with him. go out with him. And I was always cheating, so she couldn't stand it. So like I said, I'm toxic. To combat these girls, you got to be on their level of toxicity. They think I'm a nice guy. They think I'm a square. I'll be on some toxic stuff. Yeah. Go go, go to Chris Brown concert if you want to. Give me a weekend to myself. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She she, she ain't going to go. Because she know Dwayne McClain about to go do Dwayne. You know what I'm saying? But you guys who are nice. Bye, honey. I'll be back home. I watch the kids. See how corny that sound? Man, mama, come pick my daughter up. <laughs> I'm about to head out for the weekend. I got $100 for you, mama. Here, mama. Mama, take the kids. Hey, baby. Have, have fun with Chris Brown. Then now she see you active. Why are you active on Instagram right now? You got to play on their level, man. But that's, that, I, I would never in my life date another toxic girl. If they got social media, I'm busting and leaving. You know what I'm saying? But I was, I was saying all this stuff right here to let you guys know it's okay to be insecure. It's okay to not. Have, and just don't date girls who want to be fast. If she wants to be fast, go to the clubs and shake her. Leave her for the streets. What happens is, guys, I know what happens. You guys are losers. We're all losers. I'm a loser. Most of us are losers. So, And she's already been dogged out by the winner. The athletic dude, the quarterback, the drug dealer. So if you're a 9 to 5 dude, you're more than likely a loser. Like, I ain't trying to put, put us down. We're winners. But let's be honest, in most of the time, in a girl's eyes, we're going to be pretty much a loser in a girl's eyes. Which is fine. Ain't nothing wrong with losing sometimes. We, we get back up. Everybody got losses. So when you are a guy who's deemed a loser, you get a girl with a who's very because if she, nine times out of ten she's very attractive, on social media active, the bedroom time is great, you're gonna fall in love with it. Now I'm not saying every girl that took a picture with Chris Brown was wrong. They could have just been fans. Every girl that took a picture with Chris Brown was not a social media addict girl looking for attention that's gonna sloppy top them. They could have just been fans. I would never pay a thousand for a picture, but. If it was the advice, here's the thing. Girls get a pass to be stupid, and I say this all the time. Men can't do what girls do. We can't wear makeup every day. They're making it be like that, but we need to start holding more men accountable because we can't be stupid. Men wearing man units, take that stuff off, fellas. Stop the man units. Get the body and man up. Man up with that body, take that man unit off. You look crazy. Um... Women can get a pass to do this. So if, if, if say, Keisha Cole was paying a thousand, you got to pay a thousand dollars a picture of Keisha Cole. No man will do it. Men are the cheapest on the planet. That's why I, I would love to have more female followers because female followers donate. It's, women spend money. It's always great to have a female product. Why do you think clubs with girls in before 11? Girls come in before 11 because they spend more money. Guys come in, we might buy one drink. Who we buy drinks for the most? We buy drinks for girls. Girls are the money maker. Girls run the world, really. Men control the world. Women run the world. Women are the money. They are the currency. But a bank has to control the currency. If you believe in money, so say you got a pile of money just sitting in a, in a, in a, in a, in a desert somewhere. It's just money. Something has to control it. That's the man controlling the money. Women are the currency. A bunch of men with no money, we're nothing. Like I said, it's a man's world. It's nothing without a woman. Women spend bread. So I understand why he did it. I would love to have a channel dedicated to women. I would love it, but I got to speak the truth. And they women do not want to hear the truth. They want to hear a bunch of lies. That's why I date liars. Women are dating a lot of liars because they love lies. And a man who, and I hate when I see men who know this cheat code because they prey on women's emotions. And it's easy to do. Y'all don't like to listen to nothing. But anyways, it's okay for you guys to, to be like that. I would say, if you dating a girl, like to be fast. If a girl ever say, oh, you just insecure, leave her. She wants a pass to go do 
shameful stuff for a relationship. It's not it's not good for a relationship. It's not good for a relationship to, for you to be on social media half naked. It's not good for a relationship. That's that's not. If you are a girl who half naked on social media and you're a guy dating her, when you come to the mandem, we're going to call you a lame. Or you let your wife get naked online? Okay. Yeah, like we look at Adam 22. Lame. Any dude that date like a girl. Who, like if you get your, say you're a dude and you date a girl who's a dope film star and you start dating her. Of course you're lame for that. But if you get her to stop doing it and now she's following you, you respect you now. Yeah, she got all them old videos online, but what she, she stopped. You changed her around and she does everything you say. Now in the mandem, you respect it. We do not want to date girls that makes us feel some type of way. Have a girl who got guy friends. A girl got guy friends. She needs guy friends. You might as well not even date her. <laughs> just leave her alone, man. Just, leave, just get you some few rocks off. Now, because every time I talk to a girl who got guy friends, and this might go into a separate blog, every time I talk to a girl who got guy friends, they want to justify why they got guy friends and what the guy friends do. And, and I'm like, you know that dude like you. Yeah, he likes me, but I can control myself. Yeah, but why would I want my woman around a dude who's fantasizing daily about her and who's waiting for me to slip up? That's not comfortable for me. Oh, you're just insecure. I am insecure about that. I'm a human. I am upset about that. I, get that out of our relationship. If his friendship that important to you, get that out of there. You know what I'm saying? Or go, or just be single because that's not right for relationships. I'm tired of people trying to add new rules to things. You can run with a car. It's going to go reverse, neutral, drive, and park. You can't make a car go, hey, this car can only do left turns. You know what I'm saying? This car can do, uh, uh, it can spin around in circles and drive. It can't do that. I try to add new stuff to the car. It can only go forward and backwards for real. It can't just roll. So girls want to add new stuff to it. I do know a woman with a guy friend and... She like she's all she is is cool with guys, but she's not a she's not a party girl. She's in the house. She go to work. The dude she the guy friend a square. Every time I come around, he leave. He a loser. I'm like, bro, this dude he he's short. I could I know he like her, but he's definitely not a threat. Now if he was six foot five, cheekboned up, muscled up, nah, y'all can't be friends. Get the heck out of here. No. Oh well, we just can't be together. Oh, you insecure? You daggone right. Daggone right. He ain't no short pop belly bald head dude. This dude, if, if I ever slip up, he putting his finger in you. Because I'm a guy friend. And guess what, y'all? I'm a guy friend who has slept with all his friends. All of them. Every time I had a homegirl, her boyfriend messed up. I'm right there putting fingers in it. Putting fingers in every hole. Boom, boom. <laughs> I mean, that'd be like, eh, eh. and I'm the homeboy. I'm the homeboy. I'm the friend putting two fingers in that bad boy. Both holes. I'm like this right here in it. You know what I'm saying? Click. Coochie, butthole. I mean, that bitch with all four fingers. And my homegirl. <laughs> Soon as her man slipped up, I'm... <laughs> West side in that bad boy. You know what I'm saying? I would see why any man would. If you see me pull up... I remember one time, I was a guy friend. And I... And I mean, I know how to be a guy friend. I know how to be respectful. I'm not about to try to hit on you. I ain't about to call you. I ain't about to flirt with you. I know how to turn all my feelings off for you. And I actually been a guy friend to a few girls, and they always end up throwing it at me. But one time I pulled up, and I really did not want this girl. <laughs> I really didn't. She was attractive, but I really let anything go with her, like, far as mentally. I just, like, I'm just a friend. I pulled up, and he got jealous instantly because she was hugging on me, leaning on me, laying on me. He said, yeah, man, I just smashed on her. On, she was on her, on her, 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 her monthly. I'm like, bro, why are you telling me? <laughs> Bro, why are you telling me? She got mad. She's like, why are you going to tell him that? She got mad. I'm like, bro, I don't care. I, stay, I, st I sat there and watched them argue, and I chilled. I'm like, bro, I don't care, bro. I'm not upset. He's like, yeah, man, you're going to have your turn one day. I'm like, bro, you you thinking too much about this. Like, That's how y'all got to do it, man. Just cut your mind off to anything physical with any female. They will throw it at you. Just act like you don't want it. Even though I really don't be want it. I don't be caring about no. I don't care about getting no cool new. I'm good. <laughs> good they got that they got all types of stuff to get you right you know what i'm saying but uh yeah fellas i'm like they're no fast girl man go get yourself a nice wholesome girl man they're born though wholesome girls are born but i'd rather wholesome women anyway because city girls are loud they too annoying ain't nobody got no time for all that then why would you want to date a girl who's posting booty pics online and she ain't even getting paid like that these girls posting booty pics be getting a couple hundred bucks a month. 
they not making no ten thousand dollars a month. They might it might be seven hundred dollars a month for booty pics. And you post your booty pics daily for seven hundred dollars. Fellas, I done seen the receipts. These girls ain't making no real bread. Your favorite Instagram girl, look at their crib. They be in the same crib from January to December. No upgrade. Booty pics every day. They ain't making that much money on booty pics. It'd be a couple hundred dollars a month. Some girls might see two thousand. Man, I, I just spoke and talked to these girls. These girls be broke. <laughs> they be broke. I'd be like, hey, what, they, like what, they be they'll flex like they got the money. You start talking to them. Yeah, I gotta pay my bills and all that. I'm down to my last fifty. Girl, you posted naked online. Why aren't you rich? They're not about to get rich. They do this stuff as a way. They do this stuff as a way to get attention. They love to date the internet. They love to date the internet. But uh, don't date these girls. It's okay to be insecure. Find you a good wholesome girl. I'm out.